Rock of Ages. Tom Cruise is uh, Stacy Jacks. Alec Baldwin, one of my favorites. His impersonations of Donald Trump and uh, SNL on Saturday Night Live are stupendous. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm the biggest leader, I'm a very stable genius. Yeah, spectacular. Uh, and Russell Brand. James Lowney. Um, promising if you came to the cast. And, um, and there are others, of course. Um, only the result is um, disappointing for the critics. 47 meta score. The yellow. Pay attention, don't. Uh, jump into it and go and see the movie. Hey. See if it's in the program as it happened. It was one of the film channels we have in the program, or you can show it, see it in many other places. It could be on Netflix somewhere. Uh, the big packages they bought. Uh, all the films. Not that this is ancient, this is just okay, less than 20 years old, I would say. Although they have, um, I was thinking, uh, they have a gay um, um, affair or relationship between Lonnie Russell Brand and Alec Baldwin, Dennis Dupree, which I thought was funny. And, uh, dance and they Ballet in those uh, moments when they realize that uh, something going on. That was amusing. I mean, but then I was wrong in uh, taking that view, I guess. And it's not woke. It's not for the moment to um, make fun of a gay relationship. Uh, is it? I mean, I, <laughs> I thought it's funny, but I admit uh, here that uh, my culpa. I'm thinking that it's the wrong way to look at this. You know, like in um, Goodfellas, Joe Pesci. Mm -hmm. Funny? What do you mean funny? Make fun? What do you mean? <laughs> you shouldn't make fun of some things, I, I guess. Um, well, no one second thought, well, yes, you can. Because it's not... Um, it would have been wrong. Yes. Ah, so you're gay. Ha ha ha. Gay. Ha ha ha. You're gay. Ridiculous. Yeah. As if boys in the uh, old days. I mean, I, I know we, we were raised here, but then, of course, we're, we, we were behind the Iron Curtain. We still are you know, less uh, advantaged, disadvantaged part of Europe. East and West. Um, some or many here like to think it's a central world, but then um, I don't think it is. So being gay was um, something strange, a condition or something. That that was the the the, the, the perspective. Um, or it didn't even exist, or we would. Obviously, it wasn't anything in a communist uh, literature, uh, media. Or, they, they were it's also too preoccupied with a with Chaucer's new man and the most beloved son of the nation and all that. So I don't think it's not. Uh, but that's the take of uh, those regimes. Uh, <clears throat> so. We were affected by that. Coming back to uh, Rock of Ages, they don't take this view uh, insulting, faggot, and so on. It's just that it's, it's I guess, maybe probably emancipated and walking there. This is normal. You can love the two people who are just like us, you can think sexual. Uh, same rights, same. same DNA, same everything. Uh, 
can be in the same more with the sameness and all the way. But it can be amusing. It can be fun. Yeah, get people in love that crazy with any gender, non-gender, non-binary, two spirits I understand is the thing now. Transgender transgalactic sapiosexual, whatever. Uh, that's the only category I, I have a chance with right now. I have to have somebody clever on the wrong side. I don't have any. If it doesn't barely, I don't have um, arguments. Um, strong points for me. So, uh, there was that. I was like, well, Tom Cruise is not convincing. Well, there's always this baggage, at least for this viewer, cinema, knowing he's uh, uh, an image uh, promoter of, of uh, what's the name of that? Uh, it's his religion, if I escapes me. Anyway, a very strange faith. Uh, doesn't make him very lovable. Uh, what's the name? Scientology. It came to me. 